Tunisian Art Festival showcases art produced by local artists. It is also an opportunity to revive life in Tunis's old city. The festival has been running for eight years now. When Dream City started in 2007, the problem was that public spaces were seized. The aim was to reclaim the stolen and non-existence. We then gathered the independent artists because pro-regime artists had taken the whole space. And that's how the adventure started, in the flat of Salma in Sofiane Usi, where the artists met to imagine their city. This year, it attracted large crowds. Some of the participants, loyal followers of the event. In previous editions, there were more street performances. Actually, the association which organizes this event is called La Truc, which means in French, art and street, or the art in the streets. So I was expecting more shows in the streets and squares inside the Medina, but most of the exhibitions are inside buildings and museums. One of the highlights of the fair was an exhibition titled Usham, Arabic for Tattoo, which included pictures taken by a Tunisian photographer documenting people with tattoos. Before, people used to think that the tattoo is an anti-evil spell, or a cure, or a way to show a tribe belonging. However, today, tattoos have become a statement for people. We notice that tattoos, in a way, are linked to the prison world, and that they are done in unhealthy conditions. Approximately 200 people, artists, curators and volunteers participated in organizing the festival that included 22 events, film projections, photo exhibitions and outdoor performances. The lineup included artists from Tunisia, Syria, Egypt, South Africa and France. The festival ended on Sunday. Susan Mugeli, CCTV.